technology is everywhere in our daily lives. But despite the obvious benefits of technology, there are some risks that accompany it. This was experienced firsthand by several unfortunate cell phone users of Samsung's Galaxy Note 7. Multiple malfunctions inside the cell phone's components cause them to combust aggressively. They still pose a threat to cell phone users' well-being. However, those users do not know a lot about the issue, increasing the risk of them getting hurt. The research for more information about the cell phone issues and components by the consumers of this technology has the strong possibility to prevent further incidents. First, there are some things that need to be understood that explain why there is a need for awareness regarding smartphone components. Matthew Espino will explain the next information. What happened with the Note 7 has to do with its battery system. The lithium ion caused explosive short circuits when the positive electrode and negative electrode made contact. Normally these two would never make contact due to the fact that there is a layer called the separator in the figure which serves as a wall between them. The problem was that the container of the pieces, known as the pouch, was simply too narrow on the right corner. Charging the battery made the components expand and retract once they started to discharge. The lack of space meant that the positive and negative electrodes started to get squashed with each other. Eventually, the separator could no longer do its job. Contact happened between the positively charged components, leading to explosive results. Those issues come in different ranges. Injuries caused by the Note 7 have occurred globally. One of these incidents occurred in Boca Raton, Florida. A 28 year old man was in a convenience store when he felt a burning sensation in his leg. Seconds later, he realized his phone was overheating, and as he tried to grab his phone, it exploded. It caused severe injuries and burns all across his outer right leg. Several more cases can be found, so much more extreme. Samsung has suffered dozens of lawsuits to, uh, due to injuries. Within the first week, the company received from 92 reports of overheating, 55 property damage, and 26 of personal physical damage. What really demonstrated the lack of appropriate knowledge about the issue is the team's primary research. The survey took place around the areas of UTEP and the surrounding streets behind the Don Haskins Center, specifically around Mesa and Oregon Street. The locations were chosen due to the increased number of electronic stores in the vicinity. It also meant guaranteed groups of people that interacted or possessed cell phones who had more possibilities of being familiar with these issues. From the total of 32 people surveyed, most people, 29, heard of the explosion issue in the Galaxy Note 7, but no one had experienced it themselves. Around 10 knew at least something about the component failures, but 23 had no idea of it. In October 2016, Samsung officially discontinued the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Samsung also stated that they had begun a process to properly dispose of the phone and to recycle each component in a safely manner. Samsung adjusted its third quarter profit estimates to account for the over $2 billion in losses as a direct result of the Note 7 recall. Uh, did you return it? Yes, I did. Okay, so like, did you get a full refund? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, they gave me a full refund and I want to buy it. <laughs> so, so you wouldn't buy the new Galaxy SA? I would not, no. Really? They told me, well, just be sure. Was it, was it free or did you get like a discount? Yeah, it was free. Oh, free. Yeah, it was free. However, Samsung may be planning to reuse old components from the Galaxy Note 7 in other units to account for the lost profits. The Note 7 originally had a 3500 mAh or milliampere hour, which means a uh, measure of how much uh, fuel the battery holds, but this refurbished device will have a 3000 um, milliampere. The Galaxy Note 7 was full of perfectly serviceable AMOLED display and mainboard parts, which had nothing to do with the defect. Samsung may be eyeing up using these components for use in a new device. The repackaging devices will then be sold in emerging markets such as India and Vietnam. Most people don't know this information, 
or only have a very vague knowledge of it. People might end up falling in the same dangers in case other models suffer similar issues. So what can people do to become more knowledgeable? People can research through technology websites about what other pieces can cause cell phones to malfunction and whether their own cell phone models possess them. Among these sites, for example, is the electronics section of HowStuffWorks.com and MobileCellPhoneRepairing.com. Both provide detailed descriptions of the common components of modern cell phones. MedicalDaily.com can also give some information about cell phone health issues. All of these can help to prevent those phone issues from plaguing people's lives.